All right, guys, welcome to Cold Blood Creations. Now, for some of you, you're going to say, wait a minute, we've seen this video already. And the reason we took this video down, did a new introduction and re-uploaded it is because the folks over at grubterra.com issued us a special coupon code for you, our subscribers. If you want to help us out and save 10% on some soldier fly larva or anything else available, go to the Grubterra website, put in the code CBC, and thanks for watching. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. You see here it's got live insects, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and be careful. I don't know, uh, once again, how this is actually packaged. It came in the U.S. mail, which is uh, uh, kind of unusual. Most of the time when we have insects delivered here, they come either UPS or FedEx. Um, never had one sent through the mail, but we're going to nonetheless open this up. And... Uh, Okay, I am familiar with these insect cups right here. I am familiar with these. Um, and it looks like they've sent us two of these. Go ahead and tear this tape off. And Okay, all right. I, yep, I think I know what this is. Um, there, there's nothing in here that really tells me what they are, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this is soldier fly larva. And if so, I can be honest with you and tell you, I have never used these. I have never used these with any type of reptile, I've never fed them, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna see, I think that's what these are. I believe that these are soldier fly larva. I'm actually gonna go to the computer here in a minute and I'm gonna do a Google search and find out if I'm right. I'm not gonna just feed something to my dragons before I know what it is, but let's see. It looks like, yeah, it looks like there's two cups of the same thing. All right, so we did some research, and this is, in fact, uh, what they call a soldier fly larva. Um, we're going to pour these out here and just see. Um, looks like they sent us a good bit. Now, I also heard, for those of you guys who raise chickens, and we do as well, that these are also good for feeding chickens. Now, i got to be honest with you, I don't really like uh, the fact that these are packed in whatever this is. It seems like dirt because, you know, I don't want to feed this to my dragons and have them get a mouthful of this, whatever this uh, stuff is. Nonetheless, uh, we will probably take some of these and uh, just rinse them off a little bit in some water. Maybe it's a necessity that they pack them in this stuff right here. Maybe they have to be packed in that. I'm not really sure. Once again, I'm not terribly familiar with these, but um, from the research I've done, seems that they are safe to use as feeder insects for both reptiles and chickens. So we're going to clean some of these up. We're going to see if our dragons are interested. All right, so we've got our dragons in their feeding tubs. We're going to test this out and see what they think. <laughs> they seem a little bit intrigued <laughs> at the new flavor that they've never had before. By the looks of this, it looks like they're getting full faster on these worms than they will their mealworms or their crickets. It's looking like three of these is their max. After they eat about three, they're done. All right, guys, so we just fed some of our dragons these uh, larvae, and uh, it's been a little while. We come back to check on them. These guys seem to really enjoy this, and like Anna pointed out, doesn't seem to take very many of them to get some of our baby dragons to have a good full belly. Um, they are now moving into their basking area, so we believe they're satisfied. This is, again, a new insect uh, for me. We have not used these up until now. I have heard people mention these, and 
we have been asked about them. So uh, I would like to thank uh, Grub Terra for sending us this sample. If you guys are interested in purchasing some of these, their address on the internet is grubterra.com. Now when it comes to feeding reptiles, especially bearded dragons, we have always said that diversity is better than feeding any one single uh, source of protein. We have always utilized crickets, dubia roaches, superworms, mealworms, and now it looks like we're going to be introducing these uh, the sword, soldier fly larva into our feeding arsenal. So. All right guys, I want to uh, give a little follow-up information here. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since we originally filmed this video. We have been using these soldier fly larva. It seems that our dragons really, really like them. We actually put a cup of 500 in the refrigerator just to see if they would store well. I have heard that they will go dormant. So we wanted to test that out. We did put some in the refrigerator. I took them out and and they all seem to be alive and healthy. We're very impressed with this product. Once again, I wanna thank the folks over at Grub Terra for giving us this opportunity to experiment with a new feeder source for our bearded dragons. And once again, if you guys wanna to go to their website, place an order, save yourself 10% off the entire website, use the code CBC, and thanks for watching.